morning, internet world. Oh, I don't even got my glasses on yet. Yeah, that's a good sign, right? I didn't notice I didn't have my glasses on. Yeah, maybe my eyes are getting better. Maybe not. That never happens that way, does it? There we go. Let me. Oh, there we go. High definition. There you are. Well, maybe I did need them. Didn't see you there. Okay. I got my trailer loaded up here. I'm in Deer River, Minnesota. So yesterday was a busy day running back and forth. From Deer River, Minnesota here, I gotta go to Brainerd. That's about an hour and a half down the road south from here. And from there, I don't believe I have freight going home. I gotta get home tonight, so I'll be going home empty from there. It's a five hour drive, six hour drive home from there. That's what I'm thinking, but we'll see what uh, fate has for us after we're unloaded. I'll give you a look at the trailer here and the truck. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I'll show you the truck. Truck's dirty, okay? I'm warning you right now. Fair warning. She's dirty. I don't know who this guy is here. He's following me. But there's my load. There's my trailer. We're sitting at about 79,300 uh, pounds. Slightly under 80,000. Nicely balanced between the axles. We're ready to go. I was parked over there in the truck parking around the corner, but I snuck up here. Said I could run inside, grab a coffee. Now we're going. We're gonna take this dirty truck down to Brainerd. Really need to get it a bath. It's way overdue. Way overdue. Get on the road. Lights on. That's off. That's on. There we go. Lights on. Let's let's skedaddle, shall we? Oh, is this guy going first? You got. You can go first. I'm gonna take way longer than you. You go ahead, and I don't want to hold you up. First thing in the morning. I don't like being held up. It's gonna take me a little while to get across this road. All right, we made it. There's no trucks outside, so that's a good sign. They can fit three inside, so there might still be a lineup. I have heard from the load gods back home, and they have told me that once I'm done here, I can just go home. And I've already got two loads lined up for next week. Uh, one, another one in Kenora on Monday, bring me back down here Monday evening. And then from here, I have a, a reload in South Dakota Tuesday morning, going back home. Well, Yonzi first, gotta go to Winkler first, drop that off. And I'll be back in Manitoba anyways. Is there anyone in there? Ah, oh, I gotta fix that window, so squeaky. Oh, someone's just backing out. Okay, we're gonna wait for him to back out and then uh, make our way in there. Give him some space here. Maybe we'll see him out of the, come out of there right away. This guy got in front of me again. This guy is one of our drivers. He is so quick. This is a unit 1291. He is so fast. I was in front of him, but he keeps getting in front of me somehow. I don't know how he does it. I get in front of him and I'm like, ha ha. And then, you know, I like stop for like a 30 second bathroom break, what it feels like. And I'll boom, he's in front of me. Like, How'd you do it? This guy. He's fast. I don't know who he is yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna learn his name one day and learn his secrets. I was in front of him. I was this whole time. But no, there he's unloaded already. Alright, so that means there's no one in front of me now. Minnesota today and you heard him 
and you didn't know what it was, that was me, flying home at the speed of light. All right, we got an empty trailer, all set. Let's go home. Had to make it a little brief out there because I didn't want to get a copyright strike from that music. <laughs> Good music, I just, YouTube doesn't like it if I put it in the background too loud. All right, I'm just gonna get out of here, out of the way, just in case someone else comes, but it looks like I was the last one. I'm gonna get out of the way anyway. And then we'll sort out all my paperwork outside. Ay, that window's so squeaky. approach the opening here just in case there's traffic going across out there there usually isn't but just in case you want to slowly poke your butt out first just poke your poke your butt out into the sun and like that so that people know you're here and that you're coming I got my hazards on and then give her out. There we go. over here off to the side get my paperwork done let's roll up these windows because it gets super dusty in this lot just leave that dust outside I don't need it on my dash I got enough on my dash already I'm collecting it apparently unintentionally I'm leaving Brainerd here we got some kind of action happening up ahead I gotta get in the left lane Something's going on. I saw like four police cars. Oh, this person's gonna let me in. Thank you. Give him a nice little thank you wave and give him a little flash ruse from the hazards to say thank you. This just happened. We just saw these vehicles stop traffic and show up here. You got the fire chief and the fire truck here. Two police vehicles up ahead. It looks like uh, someone got rear-ended. how bad it was looks like everybody's okay it doesn't look that bad from here Today he got into an accident. I'm pretty sure that's the same car. Huh. That's what happens. That's what happens. You mess around on the highway, you drive like a moron. Eventually you're gonna hit somebody. We're getting 
close to Grand Forks. That's where I'm going to fuel up. Three dollars a gallon. Everywhere else nearby here is uh, three twenty-five a gallon. So we're going to swing through there. I'm about oh, it's still a half hour away probably. Wonder what this thing is. Farmers, you know, sugar company. So we got rid of that old step deck. I didn't want it anymore. I don't need it next week. I lined up a new trailer for myself. This is trailer 528. Do a full pre-trip on this. Uh, a pre-pre-trip. Because we're going to do our pre-trip on it on Monday, right? But we're going to do a pre-pre-trip today to make sure that there's no surprises on Monday morning. You get it? I like to do this because I don't like surprises. 